isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> she might be a little camera shy. I oh, am. Yeah. You, you, we'll warm you up to it and you can be a main character in the video later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time at my grandma's house since I haven't been here since 2018 and it's nice and snowy. I'll show you the backyard. Anyways, Grandma's made tacos for dinner and we're gonna enjoy the night, aren't we? Yes, we are. We'll have a ball tonight. <laughs> we're having wine, but I have to go get some ginger ale. Do you want a wine glass or? Whatever you're gonna have. Uh, Grandma's yeah. making me her specialty drink. I'm not really a wine drinker, but. You I don't, don't have this very often, or? I don't have it very often at all. Oh, please. <laughs> I did not swear because of the movies. <laughs> you got to explain what you're doing. Well, I'm just mixing this uh, wine with some ginger ale, and it's called Pinot Grigio. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it's pronounced? Pinot. <laughs> God. No, Pinot Grigio. Oh my god. So, have you, you've never had this before? No. Okay, it's it's kind of just a, this is yours. Well, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, Ooh. It's very delicious. It is good. It's got a nice little sparkle. Mm, yeah. Oh, I have to get another one of these things. Okay, you could probably eat about two of these things, right? Yeah, I think so. And I might just have one. Yeah, I can turn them on. How would you feel if I recorded us talking like we were and you talked about your parents? I'm kind of shy about that. I might get tongue tied. I just think it's interesting and I think people would be interested. Oh, yeah. And First Nations and then talking too, about that is interesting. When we were growing up to um, like uh, mom and dad, like dad couldn't speak English well and he didn't have a lot of education mm -hmm. and grandma had none. So when we were going to school, we had no one to ask questions no to. No one to help. See that 920 April 14th and it's this light out. This is the best part about the summer in the Yukon. It's just light for so late all night. It never gets dark. It's awesome. Oh, we had a really nice dinner right as we started to eat our tacos. My cousins knocked on the door and my great aunt, my mom's cousin, and their three little cousins that are four, two, and one and a half all showed up and it was just like chaotic but so cute. That's what I love about the Yukon is it's so small that people just stop in and say hi and my cousin for a while there, she had a pink car and she's the only one in the Yukon with a pink car. So when we'd drive around White Horse, we see, would see a pink car, we'd just like be like, oh, there's Ashley and like go in the store, say hi to her. And it's just like, so fun like that and everyone in white horse is just like a little drive away so i'm hoping to go see some of my cousins that live in white horse and now 
I introduced my grandma to the show Queer Eye, so we are gonna watch an episode. Good morning, guys. It is Friday, April 15th. It's around, oh, what time is it? <clears throat> oh, it's 10.40 in the morning. I slept in a lot today because yesterday I was awake for like 18 hours on five hours of sleep, so I was so tired at the end of the day. It's minus three out right now. I think the low is minus nine and the high is five. So it's actually like pretty nice. It's blue skies, it's beautiful. Last night after we made those fizzes, she calls them, um, we, we had a good conversation about her parents and her parents have a very cool story. So she's First Nations, She her mom is full First Nations and her dad is Norwegian. So when they were growing up, they couldn't actually talk to each other. They both couldn't speak English, it was very broken English. It's just such a cool story and Could he speak better to your dad? Yeah, he was pretty good, but he also had a language barrier too, being Norwegian. Yeah. And so did you guys learn English in school? What did you learn until you were five then? Well, before we even went to school, we could understand grandma's language. We understood her when she talked. Yeah. We understood her, but we couldn't uh, converse back to her in her language. So we had to use broken English to try to get her to understand some, but she was pretty good, you know, considering that she had no education. Yeah. But she was a good mother. Like yeah. She worked hard and she she did a lot of things. She made all of our clothes. She tanned yeah. loose hides and went trapping, caught fur, went hunting. Dad always was, he always talked to us, but you have to respect people. Mm -hmm. You have to respect people for what they are, for what they do. So that was a big thing with Dad. If I were to ever make a documentary, which I want to do, I want to make it of my grandma and her siblings. Um, I want it to be about like First Nations, how they grew up. Um, they grew up out in the woods in this cabin. They were all born there, there's five kids. And they just lived out there until I think my grandma was five. And it's just in the middle of the woods and they haven't been back since they left. But anyways, oh, here. Here's some photos. So this is the Norwegian, um, my great grandpa. There he is again. And this is my First Nations great grandmother. So we're going to Marsh Lake, which is where I've always gone when I came up to visit my grandparents because they lived out there my whole life. Until about three years ago, my grandma moved into town around when my grandpa passed away. And the last time I was here was actually in 2018. Sorry for that dinging noise, Jesus. It was in 2018. And for his celebration of life. So it's, it's just been crazy to be back here and to see my family and see my grandma's new place. Um, but today we're going up to Marsh Lake where I've pretty much like where I used to live when we would come up here. It's a beautiful lake. It's a nice drive and I'm really excited. Yeah, it's been nice so far. going to go see the swans that are migrating up to the Yukon. They spend the winters in British Columbia 
and come up here for the summer. <laughs> it is so bright out, but it's a beautiful day. Yes, beautiful. Grandma didn't want to come on this walk with us, so we're just doing it ourselves. That was very cool. You could hear them from like hundreds of meters away. And it was a nice walk, it was so bright. Like, my mom didn't have sunglasses, I felt bad, but like, we were also trying to take pictures of each other out there. And just every picture was like, I was, oh, it was just painful. But now we're gonna go to Marsh Lake, and I'm so excited. Grandma, what was your favorite part about living out here? I loved living by the water. Sitting outside in front on the deck all summer. Yeah. Grandpa and I would sit there and see the boats go by and people on the canoes and the odd bird and stuff would come by there. The foxes. The foxes would be around there. The bears would walk through the yard, front yard, quite often. Or when the moose was hanging around there, it just hung around the house and everywhere. I don't know, it's just, it's just nice, it's solid, it's like quiet. Yeah, I liked going on skiddy rides out in the woods. It was so fun. Such light forest. Yeah, it's so thin through there. You couldn't see that far through a forest at home. No. Cute little trees. We found more swans on the side of the highway. So we pulled over. Going to go see Grandpa's bench. So I don't actually know which one it is. Not that one. Maybe this one? No. Always remembered for his guidance, kindness, and love. Oh, that's cute.
morning guys it is sunday or saturday it's saturday um just woke up had some breakfast showered nice morning yeah just thinking about yesterday it was so nice it was such a nice day and just we went and seeing my grandpa's bench which we should go and like clear the snow off like so we can actually sit there but that was my first time seeing the bench and the beautiful river behind it and then I showed everyone the drone footage and I just kept thinking about if my grandpa was there he would be so stoked on just the drone and just he would think it was so cool and he'd be so proud of me like just being so into like taking videos and stuff because he he loves that so yeah it was just like a fun fun time and I miss him so much he was just like the most kind and loving man ever and I just ah oh, he was just the best so it's been nice to be up here and think about all the memories I've had with him and but today I don't really know our plan I think we're gonna go wander around in the town for a bit and I messaged my cousins because I want to hopefully be able to meet up with some of them there's like I think 11 of us with the last name Brown here, so <laughs> I'm hoping that some of them will be down to go get a drink or like go for lunch tomorrow, so I think that's the plan for tomorrow. Yeah, it's been so nice. I just love it up here so much. It's just, it's beautiful. The weather has been so nice. It's so good to see my grandma and my, my aunt, my grandma's sister came into town um, last night as well, so it's been nice to see her and yeah. I'm just happy. It is almost 2 a.m. <laughs> it was really fun. It's now 2 a.m. So did not expect to be up this late. But um, lots of visiting today. We did so much visiting. Tomorrow I'm going out for lunch with a bunch of my cousins. So that should be really fun. But I'm so tired I need to go to bed. So good night. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's Sunday. I just got back from lunch with my cousins, Ashley, Robin, Brett, Brett's girlfriend, Tristan, and Jagger. All came. We were missing like one, two, three, four, five, including my sisters. So it was really fun. It was good to see them all again. I haven't seen them in like four years, I think, and good to catch up and yeah, it was great. Really fun. Went to Boston Pizza and then Ashley drove me home. She and we went and saw her new house that she's going to be moving into in a couple weeks. And yeah, it was it was like really it was really good. Really good to see the cousins. So far, I'm going to just relax the rest of the day. <laughs> we're having a lazy day, but probably cuz we were out so late last night. best food sandwiches with like the best bread I don't know like it's so good and they give you a warm cookie like what the heck it's just the best it's like a subway cookie you know how good those are but warm The 
This weekend was so busy with visiting people and family and friends, so I didn't really get to show you guys too much, but I hope you still like this video. Next time I'm up there for longer, there's so many cool places I would want to show you. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video, and I think the next video will have some exciting news, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> okay, have a good day. Bye!